right, so now that we have talked about the two projects that they are currently in co-op and partnership with between Simpleman's Comics and the 616 Comics, I think it's time that we uh, slide the boys out into timeout. I'm going to put Jack and Brian into the corner, and I'm going to bring on some very special guests. The owners of 616 six comics and the 616 comics.com john leon and erica gonzalez hi guys uh please go right ahead and introduce yourselves maybe a little bio for those those of you at home watching and listening sure little bio i'm john this is my wife erica and uh i've been a comic book uh fanatic for decades and i fell out for a little bit uh as a lot of us do once we grow up uh, and get into college and into the workplace and stuff like that. And uh, my brother played a huge part in bringing me back into comics a few years ago. And I dove all the way back in. And when I say all the way, I mean all the way back in. And uh, started watching Simple Man's comics. And that's how I found out about those guys. And uh, Erica helps me out tremendously with oh, the business. Yeah. And yeah, so I don't come from a comic book background, so I have a different lens on the business in general, but I've come to really love it, obviously being married to John. And so I'm coming from it with just my business, my marketing and PR background, which is what um, I have a degree in. And I have my own business separate from this as well. So I bring basically just my business and work ethic into the mix and I pick up some comic book info and knowledge mm -hmm. along the way right that's awesome all right guys so uh since you've recently formed this partnership with simple men's and it's got several projects and all that craziness how exactly uh did this whole partnership really start i mean you know like i don't like to say like who who asked who out first <laughs> but as as far as the whole partnership went into being can you right. tell me a little bit about that sure sure so i was a, a huge huge fan of brian and jack and simple men's comics and uh so much of a fan that i once i discovered them i went back and watched all the old videos i probably watched just about every video that brian uh put out and and then when he you know him and jack started putting out videos so um I became a pa Patreon member at some point, which I highly recommend, by the way. If you're not a Patreon member, I would highly recommend oh, becoming yeah. a Patreon member Definitely. of Simple Man's Comics. And so I was just a fan for a year, maybe. I'm not sure exactly the time frame, but um, I needed some advice on my tiny little baby comic book <laughs> business. So I DM'd Brian, and I'm like, this dude's not going to respond. Like, he probably gets 100, 200 DMs a day. Yeah. He responded, like, immediately. And I said, hey... Um, is there any way I could pay you for your time? I, I just love to you know, chat with you for a half hour, Zoom call, whatever. And uh, super nice, super professional, got right back to me. And uh, so the first Zoom I think we set up was for a half hour and ended up being probably for an hour or more. He refused money. <laughs> uh, so I told Very him I'd nice. buy him a drink or some food uh, when, when we eventually meet up. And uh, didn't really think anything of it right then and there because it, it wasn't really even a thing yet so reached out again to ask for some more my business started advancing and growing and i wanted some expert um you know knowledge and opinions and i really respected brian's um knowledge base and opinions uh in the industry in general asked for another call he was gracious enough to give another call and after that uh i talked to eric and i'm like i really like this dude like i think i think something could could happen here i wonder if there's a chance we could partner with them. And so we discussed it and then we just Take advanced the discussion. For yeah, go yeah. for it. And, uh, and then Jack was brought in and we wanted to make sure everybody was comfortable and we just discussed a lot of stuff. And once the three of us and then the four of us uh, started talking together, we realized um, we had something pretty unique and pretty special. Yeah. And we have really uh, put the pedal to the metal the last couple months, it's pretty crazy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So that's kind of how it all came to be. Um, just very organic, very organic. Not, uh, I don't think any of us went into this with an agenda or uh, on purpose, it just kind of happened. Yeah. Which the best partnerships happen that way, I feel like. That's awesome, guys. And honestly, these two, they're some of the best, 100%. That's oh, yeah. just from my experience, nothing but positive things to say about both 
Brian and Jack. They're just fantastic guys to work with just in and outside of the comic book community. But uh, just a little bit more, uh, what are some of your goals for this partnership moving forward? I mean, I know you probably can't tell me a lot of what you guys are talking about behind the scenes, but uh, are there any little like cool things maybe you can hit towards in the future? I know the guys weren't willing to give it out, but um, yeah, I've, I've locked them both away. They can't see this right now. <laughs> All right, so I mean, what I will say is we are exploring projects that are expansive. We're not, I mean, we, we have, uh, you know, smaller projects and then we have bigger projects, right? So uh, we're exploring options with different publishing houses. Um, we're making some really good contacts and connections with uh, creators and artists and also with publishers. And we're having a blast. That's, that's our main goal with this. Um, you know, we told Brian and Jack early on, um, you know, we, we'd love to make money, but if we don't make a penny at this, we're having a blast and that's the goal. Um, so, you know, our, our goal is to really create valuable, like curated, unique collectibles mm -hmm. for comic book fans, just like us. Like the joy of comic books is what drives us on our end, um, more so than anything else. So we want to communicate that joy to other people and give them something unique and special maybe some looks that they haven't seen before. We feel like we can bring a really valuable perspective with our team philosophy. Um, did you want to talk about that? Like the team, oh, the yeah. team aspect of it? Yeah, I feel I mean, like I that's think, huge. I feel like the, the biggest strength we have is the team itself. So all the members of the team working. And I feel like we all have our own separate sets of strengths. I feel like any, like almost like a good sports team, we all play our positions very well and we allow each other to play in those positions and we defer to each other when needed. There's give and take around the board. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that really makes us a winning team, not just a team, but a winning and successful team at that. Right. And nobody like to bounce off of what you said, um, sometimes, you know, you can work in a team or a group of people and sometimes people get like butt hurt or they get a Google lip about, you know, maybe your idea got shot down or we went in a different direction. And I feel like when we have honest discussion with each other inside the team, everybody values everyone else's opinion so highly that even if like I don't get my way with an idea or a concept right. or a direction with we're going, I feel like the value that's brought to the table with the group wisdom and the group knowledge uh, I feel like I can just put down my own desires for a certain project and still feel like we're going to come out with something spectacular at the end of the day. Absolutely. Because I trust the other team members so much that like if Jack has a better idea than me, which is frequently the case, right? <laughs> uh, Jack just hits absolute grand slams with some of his concept Jack ideas. Jack changes our minds on stuff yeah. easily. And we're not ones to necessarily in our other parts of our lives right. easily change minds. No. And... I mean, we're very flexible, but when we hear the logic, we're we're like, oh, that makes total sense, right. and we go right in on on what other members of the team say is a good idea. So, yeah, I definitely think that we we mesh well, and that's key. Yeah, and you know, as far as projects coming up, um, I can tell you there's a lot of them. <laughs> I don't know if I can tell you what they are, but there's a lot of them, and boy, do we have some good creators on board. You're like, working. We're working. <laughs> We're cranking it out. Like we're we're really dedicating a lot of time and energy to this. So, uh, you know, we're really excited to show everybody what's coming. I feel like our work, at least for you, and I know on my end, this is the stuff I have going on. I mean, when we do things in business, we are our business. Right. So I feel like in the best way possible, this is our main portion of our life, so to speak. Our families involved. Right. We, I mean, this is this is our. Our whole life and we love it that much that we allow it to be absolutely yeah it's really taken over our lives and it's changed a lot of things in a very short period of time and in a positive way absolutely absolutely in a positive way like i feel like brian and jack are our family now yeah for sure yeah that's wonderful when you when you can go into business with people and have that be the outcome um it's amazing it's an amazing feeling it's definitely rare we're lucky we feel very lucky right Honestly, guys, that is spectacular. And I know I, for one, am very excited to see what your shop has coming up, uh, especially some of the expensive things you were talking about. I'm not going to lie. Uh, really, really excited about that. 
And uh, I know some of the things that have kind of started to come out look really, really cool. But uh, I don't want to take up too much more of your time. So I did want to thank you guys for coming on and answering a couple questions as far as what's going on with uh, 616 and Simple Men's Comics the team up. So once again, guys, Erica, John, thank you, my dears. Uh, <laughs> bye, guys.